In this question, we have an electron which transitions within the energy levels of a hydrogen atom. So just to give you some context for what's really happening here, we've got this hydrogen energy level diagram shown with these lines drawn on it. These are representing the energy levels of a atom. So usually we show this with a nucleus in the middle and then we have the energy levels drawn around the outside. So energy level one is the one closest in the middle. Then we have energy level two, etc. So this diagram is showing the same thing. It's showing those energy levels, but it's just showing them as straight lines. So energy level one, this one, is shown by this line. Energy level two is shown by this line and so on. And these numbers shown over here, that's the energy that an electron in that level would have. So that's what these numbers over here are showing us. Okay, so in this question, an electron transitions from energy level two to energy level one. So energy level two is this one here. So they start there and they transition to energy level one. So let's draw that on our diagram. Start at two, end at one. When this happens, the electrons losing energy as it goes to a lower energy level and that energy gets emitted as a photon. So the photon that gets emitted will have an energy equal to the difference between our energy levels. So our initial energy, I'm going to write IE, our initial energy was negative 3.39 electron volts, which is what we had in our energy level here. EV electron volts, that's just another unit for energy that we can use instead of joules when we're looking at really small amounts of energy. Our final energy, I'm going to write Fe, is what we had over here for our first energy level, when we end up at, which is negative 13.59 electron volts. So to find how much energy change there is between those, I just need to subtract them from each other. So I'm going to do negative 3.39 minus negative 13.59. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 10.20 electron volts. So as an electron goes from energy level two to energy level one, they lose 10.10, sorry, 10.20 electron volts, and that gets emitted as a photon. So the energy of the photon that's emitted will be equal to that amount that was lost, which was 10.20 electron volts. In this question, we have an electron transitioning from a higher energy level to a lower energy level in a hydrogen atom and a photon is emitted with 0.31 electron volts of energy. So we're told how much energy was given out. We need to figure out what were the initial and final energy levels. So we already know that the amount of energy given out, so the energy of the photon, was 0.31 electron volts and we know that the difference between our initial energy level and our final energy level that's these numbers shown over here that's going to have to be the same it's going to have to be 0 0.31 electron volts so we're looking to go between any two of these such that the difference between the numbers is 0 0.31 electron volts so i'm going to start looking at the bottom now my lowest level here negative 13.59 electron volts and the second level up from that is negative 3.39. Now I can tell just by looking that there's about 10 in the difference between those two numbers. So that's way too big of a gap. So I know that it can't be anything to do with level one. Level two is negative 3.39 electron volts, whereas le level three is negative 1.15. So there's about a gap of 1.5, 1.8 between them. Again, that's too big. We're looking for a gap of 0 0.31. So it can't be energy level two. 
Okay, now these numbers are looking more promising. So let's have a look at three and four. So between those two, if we did 1.5 minus 0.8-ish, we've got a gap of about 0.7. That's still going to be too big. So it's not going to be three. Okay, let's check our next ones. So energy level four is negative 0.85. Energy level five is negative 0.54. So the difference of about 0.3 between them. And we're looking for a difference of 0.31. So let's just check by doing that calculation. Since we know that it's going from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, that will be going from five down to four. So our initial energy would be energy level five, which is negative 0.54 electron volts. And our final energy would be energy level four. Final energy would be negative 0.85 electron volts. So let's subtract those just to check. So negative 0.54 minus negative 0.85 in my calculator, that gets 0.31 electron volts. So that matches up. So I know my photon must have been emitted as a result of an electron moving from energy level 5 down to energy level 4. So I can fill those in now. So in this question, it's a little bit of a trial and error guessing game. We're looking for any two numbers where the gap between the energies matches up with the energy emitted by the photon. 